guys, it's me, 8-Bit Eric, and last week I asked you guys for submissions if you wanted to be in a video. So today, that is the video. Today we are going to talk about and celebrate your memories of the Nintendo in honor of the 30th anniversary. Thanks to everybody who submitted, and enjoy. What is going on, you guys? 8-Bit Nintendo here, and it's the 30th anniversary of the NES. Now, what I think about that is it's incredible how... Uh, this system that we all grew up with in the 80s and late 90s uh, <clears throat> just brought all the games that we have today still like we definitely still have Mario, Legend of Zelda series and then just, just everything that they gave us throughout the years we still play these games today the series and all that stuff and it's just an amazing system still to this day I love the system People still play games, still make repos, reproduction carts of like hack games or this and that. I mean, just it's just still being played in general, the system itself. So thank you, Nintendo, giving us a system that we still play today and still holds up most of the games. You know what I mean? Peace. What's the deal, folks? Sykes not me back with another vlog update, and this is for 8-Bit Eric. Hi, I'd like to present my top 30 NES games in celebration of the system's 30th anniversary. Feel free to gaze at them and be wowed by the nostalgic intoxication they're giving off as we speak. And until then, this is Psych Tsunami signing like off. Many gamers will tell you the NES is both a big part of my childhood as well as my gaming history, but the NES is worth so much more than that to me. Uh, I can still remember, like yesterday, the day that I got my Nintendo Entertainment System. Uh, I had an uncle by the name of Jim, and he had a Nintendo Entertainment System, and he was going on vacation. So, being that he wasn't going to be able to use the NES for a while, uh, he actually gave it to my parents, who they wanted to get me an NES, but they couldn't afford to get me one. He he gave it to them to give to me as a gift and I still remember receiving the NES like it was yesterday. I was the happiest kid on the block and I took it home and I played games like Super Mario Brothers Duck Hunt, I played games like Mega Man, I played games like Contra, so many iconic classic titles including one of my personal favorites Arch Rivals on the NES, and I loved this system to death, but like I said, the NES was worth so much more to me, because unlike most kids who just wanted to learn how to master the games, or learn how to play the games better, I wanted to learn what made them tick, and the technology behind them, so I credit the NES with so much more than just making me the gamer I am today, it also made me the technology enthusiast that I am today, because I wanted to learn how the games work, how they came to be, how they were made, and as a result, I started exploring technology even more so i credit the nes not only with making me the gamer i am today but also the technology enthusiast that i am today and if it weren't for the nes that may not have happened and i may not have been the person that i am today nes memories what are some of mine well it's quite simple my sister and i got one from my godmother when we were kids and i always remember nintendo being around it was just you know another device that was in the household uh, we didn't have a lot of money growing up, not a lot of games, but there was Blockbuster Video, something that some of you guys may not remember. And there was always somebody that you knew that had a Nintendo, and they may not have been as into games as you were, but it was another game you could play. I mean, you stayed up all weekend playing these crappy games that, well, not all of them were crappy, but, you know, you had to really learn how to play the games. You were more appreciative of them then. Uh, Nintendo was, uh, you know, for me, like a surrogate dad. My dad wasn't really around too often when I was young, and I always could hit that power button and have, you know, something to, you know, throw my cares into. Other kids went on expensive vacations. I got to play Mario 3. Still got my copy here, you know. First time seeing certain scenes and backgrounds from Nintendo. So thank you, Nintendo. Thank you, Eric, for letting me be on your channel. I'm gonna make like a bad check and bounce. Isn't it absolutely insane the way Nintendo is 30 years old in the console market? Well, Nintendo have been around a long time before that, uh, doing cards and all that other shit, but right now we're talking about NES, the NES 30th anniversary. And this console came out in 1985 in America and Japan. And we here in Europe didn't get it to 86, but I'm selling the brand for my, for my American friends. 
Um, the Nintendo gave us a lot of great classics like Castlevania 2, one of my favorites. Uh, it gets slammed a lot, but it's one of my favorites. And it's given us Clone Lord. I absolutely love the music, and it's, the 8 bit music is beautiful. And the infuriating turtles when you get to that damn, damn level. The damn level, can you remember the damn level? And um, we got Double Dragon 2. And one of my favorite Mega Man games is Mega Man 2, among a lot of others. But Nintendo has given us a lot of happy thoughts and a lot of uh, happy gaming hours when we were kids. And it's always been stuck with me, and it's always been in my family. And if I was ever feeling down, I'd just go play the Super Mario Brothers 3. Just get lost in the world of Super Mario Brothers. And Nintendo has always been there. Amazing console. Happy 30th anniversary to Nintendo of America. And next year we will be celebrating our 30 years here in Europe. This is Power Metal Gamer. And you always remember your first, and I remember my first with the NES. With the 30th anniversary of the NES, it brings back tons of memories for me. It was the first console I ever owned as a hand-me-down from my uncle, and it really got my love affair with video games started. It's still one of my favorite systems of all time. The library is just unbeatable. And it's amazing that this system is 30 years old. It's now as old as me. It just seems like time flies, and especially when you play the NES with the great library of games, all the classics. It's really a miracle, man. It's, it's amazing to see how far video games have come, and Honestly, while the Atari and television ColecoVision really started gaming, it really didn't take off until the NES hit the scene. So, happy 30th anniversary, NES, and here's the 30 more for Nintendo. From humble beginnings come great things. The company that had their start making playing cards and later moving on to toys and electronic amusements brought forth something which was more than just a video game system. It became a cultural phenomenon. The NES was first released in the U.S. on October 18th of 1985 and later propelled this company with fairly limited U.S. exposure into a household name and pulled this country out of the video game dark ages that were upon it. I don't think I need to get into too much more detail on that. As you can see behind me, I am very fond of the system as well as a number of other great products that Nintendo has produced. Nintendo has always stood for creativity and innovation, and I hope that never changes. Thank you, Nintendo, for doing everything you've done, and here's the 30 years of the Nintendo Entertainment System. I'm sick, but I, I still wanted to get in on this video because Nintendo's 30th anniversary just happened on the weekend, and I, I wanted to congratulate them and, and say that I, I thought about this because he asked me to be in the video last night, and the most important thing about the NES other than the games influencing everything that we affects our lives now, but the the most important thing is I I don't think a lot of people consider this, but I don't think we would be sitting here talking to each other without the NES. I don't think the gaming community would be as big as it is, and I don't think I would have made friends with all of these people, including Eric, who's fucking sexy as hell. Honestly, I don't think we'd be here, so thank you to Nintendo for that, and I really am looking forward to the NX and the rumors, and I, I'm i on board. I love, I, thank you, Nintendo, and I love you, Eric. The NES was just an incredible system. Uh, when my dad used to be a gamer, uh, he had an NES, and when I was really young, he got me into playing it, and he, you know, you know made me play Mario, and from then it just grew into this love of just experiencing what gaming was and how simplistic it was, but also at the same time how adventurous and enjoyable these games could be. I mean, there was a lot of games that weren't so great, but back then everything was great and in a new experience and just something to try and everything brought you on a journey. And it was the feeling that only Nintendo honestly could give me. I didn't grow up with uh, the Sega consoles. I grew up on Nintendo and Nintendo really shaped the gamer that I am today and really showed me what gaming is, and I'll never forget uh, the NES for that. The NES truly brought me this incredible experience that made me the gamer I Eric, am. how you feeling, buddy? John Riggs here. Uh, this is my quick one-minute video. You can use as much or as little of this as you want. Um, I'll leave that up to you. Um, I grew up with a love for video games, with the arcades and the Atari 2600, but I found my first passion for video games with the Nintendo Entertainment System. 
Uh, both of my parents were classically trained musicians, so I never learned how to throw a baseball or throw a football or shoot a gun or anything like that until the Nintendo came along and I learned all the rules of basketball and football and baseball um, because that's what I had to work with. Um, I learned how to shoot a gun by looking down the barrel of a zapper um, and I learned how to do that thanks to the Nintendo Entertainment System. And for me especially, I'm the sixth of seven children in my household, so the Nintendo was my escape. It was the one thing I was good at and it was the one thing I could turn that on and my other brothers and sisters who may be fighting with each other, you know, my dad at work, or my mom doing whatever, um, all that would kind of go away and I'd have my, my little spot, my happy place. And, um, and it still is my happy place and I still fire up my Nintendo and it's a time machine for myself. I can turn that on and turn right back into an eight or nine year old uh, playing some of my favorite games. So 30 years of Nintendo um, and the legacy will continue on for 300 more years, 3000 more years. Um, it's not going to stop anytime soon. Happy birthday, Nintendo. And well, guys, as you can see, lots of memories with the NES throughout the past 30 years. So thanks to everybody again for submitting, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment below. Check all the channels below as well. I put them in order of appearance. And yeah, so thanks for watching, and peace out.